Hello and welcome to the beach and a jar. You may be slightly confused. Why are we at the beach with a jar? Well, this $6 jar may be one of your favorite souvenirs that you take home from visiting Myrtle Beach. Now, for me, what we're filming here was actually a experiment. But when the experiment was done, I figured, hey, this is a really good idea for people that are visiting that might want to take a piece of their vacation home with them. So let's hop, skip, jump, and bam. So the idea was to create a micro ecosphere in this jar. So a ecosphere, micro jar, if you will, ecosphere, is nothing more than taking some sediment particles, life from a water source, whether it be the ocean or a river or a lake, and some water from that water body and sealing it, preferably in an airtight jar. So that was the idea during this trip to the beach. I was gonna put these items in the jar, seal it up, and see over time if the microscopic life within would thrive and grow and be visible to the naked eye. I've seen a lot of people do this successfully, and I wanted to try it out for myself. During this specific experiment, I did not go heavy on the shells. I mostly went quite deep, about an inch, inch and a half of substrate, if you want to think of it in that way, of sand and crushed rock, or crushed shells. But I didn't go heavy on the display shells. Now, if you're doing this for souvenir purposes, not so much science purposes, then fill it up with shark teeth, seashells, the usual stuff that you collect on the beach anyway while you're visiting. But by doing it this way, you have a way to display it with not only the shell and the sand, but the water from the same beach that you were visiting. So let's take this home and watch it and see if it progresses as a biosphere and see if anything comes to life within this jar. So one week in, you can see the water became clear. That's Kobe the cat right there, just standing watch. The water was clear, all the sediment settled to the bottom. A couple of air bubbles there. Now this jar appeared to be airtight when we started, but it has lost a little bit due to evaporation over the past few weeks. So if you're doing this experiment, make sure you get a sealed jar. All right, two weeks in, still nothing on the life form front. If something's going on in there, I can't see it with my naked eye. days later I did not pick up any footage of it I couldn't get it to focus but there was a sand flea swimming around in there so my personal ecosphere experiment ended up being a dud 21 days in nothing really going on but I'm still gonna leave it on the shelf, let some natural sunlight hit this thing, and maybe in the future, something will happen. Like I said, I've seen other people be very successful with these jars. So I will update you, and Kobe, the cat, will let you know if there's any activity in this jar in the future. But back to my original point, if you're not interested in a science experiment, and you just want a really unique, personalized souvenir, Fill this thing up with a ton of shells, some shark's teeth, a little bit of sand. Not too much sand, because we don't want everyone driving home with sand, and then we got no sand left. But fill it up with some ocean water, seal that jar, and this thing will look clear, look pretty, and be a nice addition to your shelf until your next trip to Myrtle Beach, when you can add some shells to it. Now I will mention, if you're flying into Myrtle Beach, you cannot 
do this experiment, you'll have to be driving since this is a much larger volume of liquid than they allow on aircraft. All right, everybody. Until next time, stay safe and take it easy. <laughs>